Bismillah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala rasulillah. Aidukum mubarak, kul amantum bi khayr, wa matakabil minna salih ala amal. Warm greeting our beloved learners. I wish and I hope that you are preparing well for your BM examination next September, inshallah. Uh, still dealing with lessons with your online teacher, Mr. Labidi Radwan. Today's lesson is about prefixing adjective or adjectives in order to create opposite meaning. We're still dealing with sequence two, me, my personality and life experience, and we shall proceed quickly to the presentation as an introduction. In English, one way to make negative statements is by adding negative prefixes to nouns, adjectives, and verbs. Okay, today's lesson is about the adjectives. Here are some English negative prefixes, e, this, il, m, n, er, non, an. For example, the prefix an can be attached to the adjective happy to create the negative adjective and happy. Or you can use the negative adverb not. You have to note that there is no difference in meaning between these two forms. The example given, Ahmed is happy, affirmative sentence. Negative prefix at n will be Ahmed is unhappy. Now, with the adverb not, Ahmed is not happy. Now, those two meanings are the same. Let's see, let's see how to form opposite adjectives or antonyms using the prefixes this, n, n, m, l, er. Now, you can form antonyms by adding. Uh, prefix with a negative meaning to the adjective examples honest dishonest kind and kind capable incapable polite impolite literate illiterate responsible irresponsible another example given in a context Zeki has been unkind to this to his little brother why? Now, he, he didn't let him use his pen. Now, my grandmother is illiterate. How? She can read and write. She can read and write. Now, there are some notes or remarks to take into consideration, but they are not general rules because there is always exception to these general rules. Now, we add the prefix M to adjectives that begin with the letters M and or P. Add the prefix L to adjectives that begin with the letter L. And not always, because we'll see. Now, add the, adge sorry, add the prefix R to adjectives that begin with the letter R. We'll see. Now, in practice, of course, you've got very easy task. Tick in the correct boxes to form opposite of the following adjectives. What are the adjectives? We have legible, possible, sane, agree, moral, regular, able, accurate, usual. And the prefixes given are this, n, n, l, m, n, r. So you have just to put, you have just to put a tick. Okay, you have just to put a tick in the right box. Let's see the correction of this easy task. For example, legible means something you can read easily with the prefix L would be eligible. Now, the adjective possible with the prefix M would be impossible. Saying, insane, agree, disagree. Okay, this usually, not always, used with the adjectives that begin with vowel or vowel sounds, but not always. Moral with M, immoral, regular, irregular, and we have able. Sometimes the adjective can take more than one prefix. In the case of able, enable. And disable okay for example interested disinterested and interested now accurate with inaccurate usual and usual 
Okay, we have another task, task two. Here you have to use your dictionary, then add one more of the following prefixes. This, n, in, m, l, r, to each adjective in bracket to find out more about the personality feature of my or your ideal friend. Okay, the paragraph. My ideal friend is someone who shouldn't, okay, here we have negation, who shouldn't be kind, friendly, caring, helpful, responsible, tolerant, loyal, sincere, disciplined, or honest. He has to, sorry, he has to obey the law and not do anything legal. My ideal friend should also be a selfish person who thinks about what is good for others, not just about his own advantage and profits. Here you have to take more time in order to check and to look up in your dictionary in order to form the country or the opposite mean or the antonym using the prefixes given. Okay, now I'm going to just say the correction. So my ideal friend is someone who shouldn't be unkind and friendly and caring and helpful, irresponsible, and tolerant, disloyal. Here, disloyal. Even if the adjective started with L, but we cannot say illoyal, it doesn't exist in the dictionary, but we have to use this prefix. That's why I said that it is not a general rule, but it is a exception. It's an exception to the general rule. Insincere, indisciplined, or dishonest. He has to obey the law and not do anything illegal. Out of low me. My ideal friend should also be a selfish and unselfish person. It means doesn't care just for himself. Person who thinks about what is good for others, not just about his own advantage and advantage and profits. So we have suggested suggested task. Uh, task 16 in your textbook, page 79. Use your dictionary and they match the adjectives that describe personality with their corresponding definition. Here we are not doing with the prefixes forming words, but more than the meaning that to the adjective that we have learned before. Now, till next time, inshallah. Thanks for your watching. And Eidukum Mubarak wa Kulu'am wa Antum. Bi'alfi khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Goodbye.